the Vietnam War, a conflict that stretched from 1955 to 1975, was not only a war of bullets and bombs, but also of chemicals. The United States military, in its quest to quell the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese forces, turned to the use of chemical weapons, inflicting a toll on the environment and human life that continues to reverberate today. In the early stages of the war, the U.S. forces began to use defoliants, substances that cause a plant's leaves to fall off. The objective was simple, deprive North Vietnamese forces of the foliage cover they used for concealment. This strategy saw the U.S. spraying these defoliants en masse over forests. Perhaps the most infamous of these defoliants was Agent Orange, a mixture of two compounds called 245T and 24D in a one-to-one -one ratio. Its name came from the orange-striped barrels in which it was shipped. The aftermath of Agent Orange use was devastating. After the war, it was estimated that over a million people in Vietnam developed major illnesses due to exposure to this chemical agent. It is worth noting that Britain was the first country to use defoliants as a weapon of war during the Malayan emergency. Their concoction was nearly identical to Agent Orange, but contained a toxin known as dioxin. This potent toxin was the cause of the Seviso disaster in 1976, where an industrial accident led to a large release of the chemical, causing widespread environmental damage and human health problems. In addition to Agent Orange, the U.S. developed a mixture of cacodylic acid, sodium cacodylate, and water to destroy mangrove plants. These resilient plants were otherwise very difficult to destroy, even with fire. The mixture, known as Agent Blue, killed these plants by dehydrating them, effectively turning lush mangrove forests into barren wastelands. But the use of chemical weapons in the Vietnam War was not limited to defoliants. Napalm, a substance that burns, spreads easily, and sticks to surfaces, was used extensively. Its horrifying effects were captured in a famous photo taken in 1972 by Nick Ut, showing a nine-year-old girl running naked on a road after being severely burned by a napalm attack. The use of napalm has been banned against civilian populations since 1980, but its use during the Vietnam War affected countless civilians. The chemical weapons of the Vietnam War left an indelible mark on the country. They devastated the environment, caused health problems that persist to this day, and etched horrific images into the annals of history. They serve as a stark reminder of the devastating potential of chemical warfare underlining the importance of international laws and conventions aimed at preventing their use.